welcome again to my channel. The Queen and her faith. Her Majesty's will. Royal House confuses on who inherits what. However, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell for more updates and watch this video till the end. Queen Elizabeth II's lengthy existence was once immersed in religion as she met lots of the world's most sizable leaders in all components of the church. Here critiques Her Majesty's relationship with faith and how it deeply impacted each and every thing of her reign. On Monday, September 19, the world will watch as Britain's liked queen is laid to rest. The ceremony to mark her passing, at the grand age of 96, will be led with the aid of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, and is predicted to be a surprisingly non-secular affair. It will carry to a shut 10 days of occasions to mark the passing of the monarch, which include a length of mendacity in country in Scotland, the place she died in London. Hundreds of heaps of human beings are predicted to flood the streets surrounding Westminster Abbey for the funeral. The Kingdom Funeral, the first due to the fact that the Queen's uncle Lord Mountbatten died, is an event afforded solely these in the best of workplace in Britain and the Commonwealth. Following the passing of her father George VI in 1952, Her Majesty grew to become a distinct and constitutional relationship with the Church of England and Church of Scotland, a bond that was once began inside the royal family in the 16th and 17th centuries. As section of her function as head of the nation and head of the Commonwealth, the Queen additionally spent her time as monarch recognizing and celebrating the different faiths that embodied these underneath her reign. This led the Queen, a religious Christian all of her life, to assist enrich the lives of so many, which include Bishop Andrew Forster, of the Church of Ireland, Bishop of Derry and Raffo, and President of the Irish Council of Churches. Paying tribute to the magnitude of faith in her life, Bishop Forster instructed the BBC that it was once very clear even from that time of coronation that she noticed this as phase of her divine calling. He mentioned how her Christmas speeches, a hallmark of usual Yuletide celebrations, moved him as it was once rare to see a head of country communicate so definitely about her love of God and her trust in Christ. The bishop added. Throughout her existence she set Christ and his message and his teaching as the fundamental aspect that has helped her and blessed her, and I suppose made her into the wonderful monarch, sovereign that she was. Another to commemorate Her Majesty's non-secular endeavors was once the Reverend Dr. Janet Unsworth, the director of the ministries group of the Methodist Church. She referred to how Her Majesty's approachable manner helped specific the values her trust enshrined with her, permitting others to observe in the footsteps she'd treaded. Rev. Unsworth said, even in the midst of a lifestyles of privilege, she made a very sturdy connection between the theological thought of Jesus the servant king and her personal role, which she noticed very a good deal in phrases of following, perhaps, in Jesus's footsteps. That want to searching for the frequent good, no longer simply egocentric good, a want for the cost of public carrier, all of that has remained steady, even in the midst of massive societal modifications that we have considered at some stage in her reign. Over in the U.S., Father Matt Malone, a New York pastor and former president and editor-in-chief of America Media, additionally hailed Her Majesty for supporting Unite and Ever Dividing World through her non-secular beliefs in a statement, he added. I am no longer calling for the restoration of an American monarchy. But the restoration of these values that guard our countrywide life, as properly as the spirit of the American Revolution, is in pressing countrywide necessity. We would do properly to be mindful this July 4 that right here in America, in the absence of a monarch, the Constitution is sovereign. Yet as Elizabeth II simply confirmed us, sovereigns reign only as lengthy as they elicit the affection and loyalty of their subjects. Although the big majority of Britons have by no means regarded a world barring Elizabeth, now 90, as their monarch, officers and information companies have been working for years to make certain that they will no longer be caught off defend by way of her death. The operation code named London Bridge. Please inform us in the comments. Please do now no longer neglect about to subscribe and flip on the notification bell to see our current day updates. Thanks for watching.